Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and today we're going to be looking at uh, the addition of pigtail functionality to the Mac application called Hamlog. Uh, so I have a KX3 and a pigtail running in soft AP mode, and over here I have a MacBook running Hamlog. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over and uh, do a screen capture on the Mac and show you it running. Uh, but basically the, the Mac here is going to be talking wirelessly to the pigtail, which is plugged into the KX3, and then I'm going to manipulate the radio. Alright, so this is Hamlog, and if we go to Tools here and come down and select Pigtail, then we have Manufacturer, Model, and Pigtail IP. Uh, so this is exactly the same as you would see in iOS devices. We have Elecraft, Yaesu, Icom, Kenwood, and here under Elecraft we have KX3, K3, and K2. So we're talking to a KX3 now. Let me save that and add a new contact and whenever you have a pigtail configured these uh, this toolbar will show up and we can hit connect here and you can see the state went green so we're connected and this frequency and mode here came from the radio itself so if I spin the VFO knob on the radio you can see the frequency change there or if I change the mode to AM LSB CW and then we have this uh, pigtail control window. So this is the KX3 interface. Uh, so if I change bands here, we're up at 20 meters, 17, 15, band down, 17. Frequency enter will allow me to type in here. Let's type in uh, 1234, and we're at 1 megahertz. Uh, you can hit the mode over here, and you can see that the interface changes here. Let's do, um, so you press the yellow text to, to activate that particular function, so you don't hold down pre if you wanted to activate NR. You just push it here. Uh, this radio hasn't been updated, so that's TBD. Uh, we have NB. You can see the little icon pop up here. What else can we do down here? So... Uh, ATU tune isn't installed. You can switch between A and B. You can see the, the frequency swap there. RIT, XIT, both of those are indicated here. Uh, if I hit the display button, then you'll get a UTC clock. Or we can hit the up down here to uh, increment the frequency or go quickly. So all these buttons are implemented. Um, can't necessarily show it here on the screen capture. Uh, we also have the CW terminal. So this will allow you to send and receive CW. The receive text will show up down here, and then you can send up here. Now uh, whatever you type, hit the enter key, and it'll send it over to the KX3 to transmit. The K3 interface looks a little bit different. So let me show you that. So this is the K3 interface. You see, these are all buttons here, and uh, some of them are on off state. So AGC here is fast. Um, pressing these buttons won't work because I'm plugged into the KX3 right now. Um, but this gives you an idea of the, the functionality it gives you. Uh, K2 has a few less buttons than this, uh, but uh, similar functionality. All the bands are there in modes, and uh, the number of functions is less. And if we come down to Yesu, which has uh, the most limited functionality, of all the radios I have. Uh, we can basically change bands mode, AB, and then lock split and PTT. So this is Hamlog on Mac. This is available in the Mac App Store for 99 cents. And uh, the pigtail, I'll put a link up here in the video uh, if you need more information on that. And let me know what you think.